Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, here with the new Lumen King, the SR32 from Immolent. 120,000 lumens over two kilometers throw distance. Really, really impressive new brightest torch in the world. So before I get into the ins and outs of the specs and sort of what they've updated, uh, I'll run through what you get in the pack and then we dive straight into the light. Da -da -da -da. So first of all, you get it in some nice packaging, very similar, pretty much exactly the same box as the MS-18. So a nice sort of briefcase box. Inside that, obviously you get your light. I'm going to get into that in a minute because there is so much to unpack. I'll just run through quickly what you get in the pack uh, and then we can yeah, dive into the light. So big light deserves a full shoulder strap. Not necessarily need this as much as the MS-18 uh, because the SR32 actually does have a handle, but it's nice to know they include a full size shoulder strap. You also get included a USB-C to USB-C and a 100 watt charger with four outputs, which is actually epic. Now it is using the GAN technology, so they're able to really make a compact 100 watt USB-C output uh, from such a small package. So you get 100 watt output, the next one's PD 30 watt USB-C and then two quick charge USBs, which is, yeah, I mean, that's, Bang for buck, that is like one of the best charges I've seen with a torch, uh, which is fantastic. This can charge off that 100 watt, um, so it's got super fast charge. Um, you're gonna be able to charge this full 32,000 milliamp sort of power bank or battery pack in about 90 minutes. So that is really, really quick and efficient charging. So huge battery pack, typically going to take you sort of hours and hours to charge. No longer with the, 100 watt outputs that they can actually accept. So yeah, 90 minutes, full charge. You get your user manual. Check that in focus. Now read this because it is very important with your outputs and run times and sort of light care. So definitely recommend reading this. This thing has got a lot going on. So um, yeah, you don't wanna, you wanna get many, many years of run time out of your brightest torch in the world. You also get a couple spare O-rings, so Couple small ones, a couple big ones for the battery pack and charger, a couple spare Allen key tools, and a couple spare screws. Now let's dive into the light. Here that beast is. Have a look at that. Boom. Now this is called the SR32 for a reason. There are 32 Cree XHP 50.3 HI chips in there, all de-domed on a smooth reflector. So that is something they've sort of changed with this unit compared to the Immolent MS-18, the 100,000 lumen version. That was typically running off big XHP 70.2 chips uh, and it was on a sort of an orange peel reflector. They've changed to a smooth reflector and it actually is quite spotty. I was very surprised how much of a hot spot this torch actually had. Uh, it actually blew me away with how much of a spot, hot spot they've uh, managed to get out of sort of so many LEDs really, which is a big bonus for a light like this. You do want it to be usable and you may as well get some distance out of it as well. So smooth reflector, more LEDs. Uh, so you're going to go, sort of get longer run times as each LED isn't going to have to output as much light. Uh, so again, heat dispersion is going to be a little bit better as well. This one also comes with a integrated handle. You can take it off with those Allen keys and put on a shoulder strap if you want, but I found the handle quite nice. There is also a button integrated on the side there. So if you're a lefty like me, it's a little bit awkward, but for a right-hander, it's just using your thumb to go through the modes. So Quite easy, left-handed didn't bother me too much, but again, you can take it off. Now it does have another side button here as well. So if you did take it off and use it as a shoulder strap or just carry it around, um, there is another button there to use. And on the other side of the handle, there is your LED display. So just the battery voltage pretty much, as similar to the MS-18 as well. So another upgrade they've made to this light, which I think is an absolute must for these big lights, even the small torches now, is a quick charge USB-C. So this is able to accept 100 watts of power input 
charge this super large battery. I'll get the specs on that battery and just put them up here or over there. But it can charge it up in about 90 minutes, which is absolutely amazing for such a large battery on a big torch. Uh, you don't want to be sort of sitting there and only be able, sort of be able to use it um, on and off like for one night and then not being able to sort of recharge in that same night. Now you sort of can. You could chuck that on for an hour, half an hour and get a bit more juice out of it. So just fantastic. Simply unscrew the back tail cap there lift up your little sort of tab that'll go rare there's a little indicator there as well get that in focus little indicator light there that'll go red when it's charging green when it's not uh, when it's uh, fully charged and then your USB-C there it is also a power bank function so quite a large power bank as well but yeah just I think that was a much needed sort of upgrade or is a much needed upgrade for all these big lights. Technology's there. They can obviously do it. They've done it here. So big, big plus. They've sort of upgraded the fans as well. They're running at a lot higher RPM. They are a little bit quieter as well, I found. And they've got sort of channels here, which is meant to disperse the heat back out. So, I mean, really, really nicely designed light with massive, massive amount of output, uh, like I mentioned before. So a couple other dimensions wise you're looking at about 22 and a half centimeters in length so it is a big boy and you're looking at about sort of 13 14 centimeters in head diameter and the body is running at about 5.6 centimeters as well so is a chunky boy but you got that handle there and it probably is the one of the best features on there because it takes your hand away from the heat because this do thing does get hot, especially when you're running at those super, super high outputs. I didn't find the handle getting hot at all, even when I was running it at max for that 45 seconds on 120,000 lumens. This torch got very hot, but the handle stayed nice and cool. So you're away from that heat source, which is fantastic. Of course, you've got aircraft grade aluminium everywhere. You've obviously got those smooth reflector in there. Now it is IP56 waterproof dustproof rating and 0.5 meters impact resistance so don't want to really drop this thing because there's so much going on here can take little bumps but yeah you don't want to be dropping it from any great height at all uh, but yeah if you had the lanyard on or your shoulder strap with the helmet with the handle you're going to sort of have no dramas with dropping it or if it's going to get too heavy you can just sort of let it go and it's going to be on that shoulder strap so that's great overall you're running about 2,166 grams, so just over two kilos, that's including the battery pack. So yeah, again, it is a big boy, but you probably wouldn't expect anything less from the new world's brightest flashlight. Let's jump into outputs and run times because I know you all wanna see this thing in action and I really wish I was able to sort of get a better vantage point to show you how impressive this thing is or sort of some drone shots, but uh, maybe further down the track, let me know if I should get a drone because that would be pretty cool to see from a bit higher up and show you how far this thing can throw and how actually widespread it is, which would be fantastic. But 120,000 lumens, video may not do it justice, but this thing is amazing. So outputs and run tops. So this thing has seven outputs. So you've got your moonlight mode at 30 lumens and you're going to get an amazing amount of runtime of that. That's 360 hours, which is just phenomenal low output and low output is 1500 lumens and 15 hours runtime and this thing just will be able to hold that for yeah for 15 hours i mean 1500 lumens out of any other light is a fair bit amount of light more than enough to sort of walk around with and do any other tasks so it's nice to know you can drop it down to low and get all night long for that sort of output jump up to the low output two and that's 4000 500 lumens and you need about four and a half hours runtime on that. So that's started to get quite decent amount of um, output now. Jump up to mid-low, 9,000 lumens, full two hours runtime on that. Uh, and that's a really impressive light with this smooth reflector and the sort of chips in there that does a great job of pushing out a decent amount of distance. Then you jump up to your high output which is 25,000 lumens and you get about 55 minutes runtime so about an hour runtime on that and that won't drop down and do not believe uh correct me if i'm wrong but pretty sure that'll be able to hold that 25,000 lumens for about an hour then you jump up to your high output and that is 50,000 lumens for about 60 seconds and then it's going to drop down to 25,000 lumens for about 48 minutes 
So you get that nice burst of high and then it'll drop back down. And then after that, you jump up to your turbo, your 120,000 lumens for about 40 seconds. And then again, it's going to drop down to that 25,000 lumens for about another 40 odd minutes. So it is just so much light. I mean, if you've ever had a chance to use a really, really bright light or the MS-18 or something like that, you know what I'm talking about. It's just so much light. But this one in particular, it's able to actually concentrate that 2,000 meters, sort of two, ca two kilometer throw distance. So it just does a really good job at being able to at least focus majority of that output and actually put it to where you sort of want to want to look. Hopefully this is a nice, nice quick overview. I'll probably do another video and try to get some better beam shots later down the track of the new world's brightest torch with some much needed, I believe, upgrades. So Emily done a great job putting that handle on, USB-C quick charge, better fan integration and a smooth reflector with some really nicely matched Cree chips in there. So fantastic torch. Yes, it is big and bulky, but what would you expect from the world's brightest torch? So let me know what you think of this one uh, and if it compares, if you want to see a comparison, sort of anything else out there. I mean, doesn't really compare to much because it is 120,000 lumens. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Please feel free to like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. If you want to see this torch and all the emulent range, all the links will be below as well as our homepage. So go check them out. Really, really high quality products, really well made. And um, yeah, they're still chasing that Lumen game. So great job Emulent for creating another fantastic flashlight. But thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.